Sometimes you might want to use a silhouette based on an element or a person in your photo. Unless you have a subject that is in front of a very light background and uniform background, you can't just adjust the brightness to get the silhouette in one step. However, it is fairly easy if you are to use some of the tools in Paint Shop. So I have this photo here and I will duplicate it with Shift D. So I won't work on my original. I'll zoom in. I want to have a silhouette of this little boy. I'm going to use the Smart Selection Brush, which is one of the selection tool. And the size, I'm going to have a size of 20, which is like a good size for this image. If you're using a very large image, you might want to use something larger. I don't want any feathering. I want tolerance about 25. I want the anti-alias and obviously I want a smart edge checked. So you just rub on the area where you want to keep And when you let go, you might have more or less of the selection. If you want to add some selection, you just hold the shift key and you drag on that area. If you want to remove some, you hit the control key and you brush the area you don't want. I don't want this part here in front. Okay, now I have most of the details. I'm going to remove this one here. But it might not be perfect. The second step now is to fine tune that selection and you go into the layer palette and you hit the edit selection. This will turn now your selection into a mask. And notice in the layer palette, whatever you don't want is going to be black. Whatever you want is going to be white. So now in the material palette, I'm going to set my foreground to white and my background to black. Now I'm going to activate my paintbrush tool. I'll set it to a size of 10 and all the other will just stay by default. So let's zoom in. And I want to have the, that part of the hat that was not selected. So I can paint it in white with my foreground. And here is going to be the hat. Remember that it's a silhouette. So sometimes you might want to tweak the edges to make sense. In this area here, you can see there's some extra pixels here and there. So I can use my right mouse button, right click, and it's going to be painting in black. Here's a little piece I don't want. I'm just going to paint in black. So the black will remove the selection. And something like this. Here it looks like the selection was a little off, so I can paint it in white to make a smoother edge. Again, it's not like you want to extract the subject, it's just that you want to have a smooth edge. So I'm going to use black to remove that extra piece here and the extra piece here, so it will make a smoother line. Here, maybe I, although this shirt is standing out, maybe I want to just smooth that area. And I can select the fingers. And probably remove some pieces here. And it's pretty big, so I'm going to be reducing the size of my paintbrush and with my black 
I paint inside here, inside here. So you can play with the black and white to add or remove areas to your liking. So when you're done and you have an area that looks pretty good, you simply go back to the layer palette, click the edit selection, and now you have a selection. Now it's time to add a new raster layer. And with the flood fill tool, you'll use the right button because you have here a background and you select that background. Since you might have some edges that could be a little bit sharp, you can smooth that. So you can invert the selection with Control Shift I, or you can go under Selection Invert, and here's the shortcut. And then you go to Selection, Modify, Smooth. And from there, you can have a small smoothing. You might want to keep any corner that you had. And you'll see in the preview here where it's going to smooth out. If you find it seems to be taking out too much, you can reduce the smoothing amount to maybe 5. It will all depend on the size of your picture. And then you hit the delete key so it will remove and delete those extra sharp pixels and you deselect. And now you have a silhouette that you can copy and paste as a new image. And you can use this silhouette in any of your project. It's just that easy. Have fun.